<laughs> we were discussing how we're gonna how we prevent sharing our food. It's it, it's a very touchy subject, you know. If I'm out and somebody's like, "Oh, can I grab a fry?" I say yes, but I'm just being nice. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I don't like you can't say no. Like, like you offer it because you're like just being like, "Do you want a fry?" It's like I don't want you to take a fry, but I'm just being nice. So yeah, I, exactly. I want you to politely say no to me, and then we walk away. And so how how do we say no? How do we say no to? to no um, means no. Don't that, touch exactly. That's exactly. true. Stop, yeah, don't food touch consent. You know, food consent. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I do? I quite literally just smack their hand away. You uh, come that, at me. That's bold. I like Bye. that. I like that. Sassy. Yeah. You, you don't reach your hand onto my plate. Next you didn't time you ask. Got food, you didn't, I, I'm reaching for it. Oh, you I'm better reaching. watch out, man. I'm reaching for I got, it. I got cat like reflexes. I'll just. Mm. He likes to get right smacked. That's his thing. So yeah. you should probably not let it. Don't smack him. <laughs> yeah. See how happy he's getting? <laughs> Throwing false rumors out here. <laughs> I'm not yeah, afraid, smack to, me. I'm I'm not afraid to throw hands over food, just so you know. I'm Italian. I will go down there with you the go. food. Devin, are you uh, one tenth <laughs> Italian? I, am, I don't have any Italian in me. Whoa. No, Whoa. no yeah. Italian in me. How'd you like to? I could push some Italian, Italian in you. you. Yeah, you. I'm 50%. How's that sound? <laughs> Fill up some cannolis, eh? <laughs> I, I, I'm threatened oh. right now. I, I'm pretty scared. Mm. Pretty I thought you were scared? courageous. Is I that how we you scared? Were, I, th- I thought you was a wise guy. What? <laughs> he can uh, never be a made man. He could. No. He never had the makings of a varsity athlete. Nope. <laughs> He's a little nerd. Look at him. He's got a fish on his shirt. He's gonna be sleeping with those fishes in a little bit if he keeps this up. <laughs> Ain't dad, that right? My dad sure, man. Oh, that's right. You got a dad. You got to rub it into me and Alex. We don't got fun. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, man. Thank we, you, Justin. We bury for... our grandpas and we got dead dads. Big whoop. <laughs> we don't have male role models in our no. life. Why do you think we're broken? <laughs> why do you think they're menaces to society? Yeah, why do you think the things that come out of their mouths in the morning do? Exactly. Yeah. I ain't got no father women. to say no. <laughs> well, this is how I stop people from, from eating my food, Alex, because that's what we're talking yeah. about. Three things. Number one, I have herpes. And I let them know I have herpes. <laughs> That's very smart. I actually had a manager once who um, I-, I had asked her if I could have a bite of her food. I, w- w- I worked in a restaurant, and she um, and she ordered something. I forget what it was. Probably like a plate of nachos. It looked amazing, and I was about to just grab one because that's the kind of relationship that we had. Mm. You know, she grab goes, each other's nachos, and she exactly, and she goes. I have herpes, and I go, oh, okay, you can keep those. <laughs> so that's a good one. It works. Yes. Even if it's not true. Maybe Even if it's, it's not true. true. We don't know if it's true. They, yeah. you still and get, I don't want to find out. Number two. You still got your food. I actually say this at the movie theater. This is sort of a sidebar. I say I have to take my medication because I always ask for a free drink because they have these things called courtesy cups at movie theaters. So if anybody wants to get a smaller drink, smaller than a small, just say, can I have a courtesy cup of something? And it's, you know, it's not that small of a thing. And I say, I have to take my medication at a specific time. But you don't really, do you? No, I just want to <laughs> have their delicious Pepsi uh, Zero. Is mm. it Pepsi Zero? Pepsi Zero. Yes, uh, mm. that's the one I get. So I, I would say I have to eat a certain amount of food to take my medication is another good excuse. Mm. Number three, and this is the final one. I'm going to do what Sophia does and, and smack the hell out of them because I think it's disrespectful to to take somebody's food, especially without asking. Right. That's just rude. Get your grimy hands off my plate. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's disrespectful. I, it. yeah. I mean, when I when that happens to me, I share with my friends. Like I'll be like, oh yeah, I like take some, like whatever. I don't really care. But when it comes to my family, I make up like any excuse there is. I'm like, oh, I'm sick, and then I start coughing on it so they don't eat it. You got to um, slobber all over it. Nobody yeah, wants that. No, for real. And then sometimes my mom's bad habit is like just taking food, like taking bites of out of things, like without asking. And like I suffer from cold sores, so like I'll have a cold sore on a really bad day. Oh, so you actually have herpes? Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you yeah. Have herpes. And so I actually like had a cold sore once, and then I started yelling at my mom because she took a bite out of something, and I was like, "Well, if you get sick, it's not my fault that you like." It's not my fault that you did that. And then she just, like, started yelling at me back. And I was just like, fine, get a cold sore. I don't care. And then she, like, stopped. And Damn. Then, yeah. She hasn't touched any of my food since, so. That's how you do it. Yeah. Hey, listen, there's one of two ways to do it. That's one of them. 
What do you do, Devin? So I mean, I I I was gonna I was thinking either I was gonna go with uh, sneezing on my food Ew. because you just said that two seconds ago. <laughs> so, coughing. Oh, cough. Okay. Coughing. So, coughing. So like, or like pretend sneezing on your food because like nobody's gonna want to take your food if you have, it's just not all over your food. Nobody's gonna want to take your food unless you have a snot fetish, which I do. So I would <laughs> love to have your snot filled nachos. It's, and like it's extra flavor. Come on. And another way that you can do it is also just like eating when when eating. Just sound and look like a disgusting snob, and nobody's want to go want to go near you. Nobody's want to go near slob. your food. A slob, like just and, grab it with your hand and uh, crush it, it, it while staring oh, at them oh, right yeah, in the like, eye. And eat it and like this, like slob. Ah, ah, it look like a complete idiot, and like just, and nobody's gonna want to eat a guy. Nobody's want to be associated with a guy that's eating food like a madman. Start wearing your food. If you're a big noted. fat guy, that's also a deterrent. I feel like um, that's like all right. That's his <laughs> yeah. thing. That's his thing. Yeah. Let's not interrupt happy time. Like, like, that's like, a good one. like, like, you know. It can end badly with a with, with a normal sized person. Yeah, you're you gonna know? lose a finger with a fat guy. Mm. Well, imagine Brendan Fraser in the whale. He's eating like a sandwich. I feel like every week the whale comes up. It's so always. I feel come like up. We, it's come up at least three weeks in a row right now. I, I love I love the Brendan Fraser, but I, if Brendan Fraser's the whale is eating food, I just back away, just <laughs> slowly back up and say, "I'm sorry, sir." You don't, yeah. want to, you don't want to get in between that man and a hoagie. <laughs> I have a feeling that they would probably just bite your finger like a carrot. And not You wouldn't even notice. Exactly. Like, mm, that was an extra crunchy carrot. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. I'm mine. <laughs> <laughs> I just start growling if people try to take my food. You guys have seen me do it. I've started growling on the air before. Not you because have. of food, but like, you know, because of other things. But listen, man, if you take my food, I will growl at you and listen... You ever been in like high school and there was like the weird kid that would do like the anime noises yeah, or like start growling at you? Yeah, I was literally just thinking of you? Sandy when <laughs> you were talking yeah, about yeah. the growling. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Nah, like like that kid was me. You were that. Kid? You were that kid. I, I was the. I, I was the 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 um Naruto running the Naruto running <laughs> kid. Oh, oh, God. oh it definitely wow! Makes sense. I was that kid. You I had was the backpack that kid. really tight on you and looked like a turtle, and you're going running oh, down the hallway. Even, uh, Did I you didn't have, even have it on my backpack? backpack? I had the rolly. Oh one. no! The rolly <laughs> backpack. Yeah, that one. The rolly and you're backpack. Oh no! That was me. Your razor scooter in their ankles. The rolly backpack. That was me. And everybody and everybody kept away from me at the lunch tables because they knew if they sat down. I would hit him with the little, you know. Senpai says I need to eat my rice balls. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Like all like right, that. let's back away. Exactly. Let like anime that. boy eat. Yep. <laughs> Let anime boy eat. Let him eat. <laughs> yeah. No. Th- there, there were other kids that um, it was more worthwhile to bully and pick on them because I was just scary, man. I, I thought I you would, would have been on the complete opposite side of the whole spectrum of I know, school. right? He's on the spectrum. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> not, not that spectrum. <laughs> no, nah, but that, 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 that's, that's what I do. I, I growl at people. E- even my own mother, I growl at my mom. If, if my dog's allowed to do it, so am I. Wait, so like, if your friend wants like food and they don't ask, you're going to still growl at them? Oh, of course. Oh. I, I will always listen. I'm a growler. I'm like a uh, I'm like a dog with my food, man. You know, if 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 you try touching it, I will growl. I will I will I will bare my teeth at you. I will snarl. I will start foaming at the mouth. <laughs> you know. You know, it's one way to deter people, and I, I might get yelled at by the station manager. So I'm going to say this as friendly as possible. Don't say it friendly. To release gas. <laughs> if you do that, if you set up like a barrier of of your own. Guess, if you will, <laughs> no one's gonna want to go near you. Okay. Oh, yeah. It, it like makes a force field around you. Yes. Right? Exactly. True. They walk in the area. Oh god. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you know, <laughs> especially if you're eating like hard-boiled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> that alone would keep people away from you. You don't even have to worry about what's gonna come after that. You don't want some of my hard-boiled eggs. Not. Hey yo! <laughs> I remember back in high school taking a hard boiled egg with like a plastic fork and like knife, and of like I would, did. I walked around to people's tables. I would just, I walked up to the table. I would just, I was just slicing an, a hard boiled egg at the table, and everyone's like looking at me like, "What are you doing?" That makes complete you sense. Don't want to, I mean, didn't yeah. you two go to high school together? Yeah, we, we did. We did go to high oh school God. together. Yeah. Was he an egg slicer? Um, yeah, actually. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, I've never, I never saw him slice eggs, but the he, rumor, yeah, the, the rumor. rumors are. I brought frosting containers to school with. Like, you must have went to a boring high school. Imagine you walk into school and that yo, you hear the rumor. Yeah, Devin's slicing eggs again. Nurse, <laughs> <laughs> like, he's out again. He's out again. <laughs> Tame him, please. Somebody cut their dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, high, high school is quite the. Quite the shop. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm glad we we, we would have been friends in high school. Yeah. <laughs> we definitely would have been friends in Slicing high school. Slicing eggs, rollers, backpacking. I was the, the, I was the weird kid. Yeah. I still don't know how I got in the homecoming court. I was the weird kid. I was in the I homecoming court too. You still are the weird kid. <laughs> the weird kids. We, we made <laughs> exactly. it onto the court. Exactly. <laughs> weird kids made it. Food. Exactly. It's like, my it's like everyone else is a football team. Then you have me, the wrestling drama kid. Yeah, th- mm. there were actually no other that's guys a, that's, that's, on the podium that night because they were all playing in the football game. <laughs> yeah. So I was the only guy up there. It was hilarious. I felt so uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> no, I usually share my uh, food with my friends. Like, if it's, like, something, like, really, really big, I'm, like, just take some because I'm not going to finish it. But, like, if I get, like, if I get a burger or whatever and I take one bite, I just cut off the bitten, su- like, half and then I just give it to my friends. You mm-hmm. give them the bitten half. Yeah, I give them the But you don't tell them it's <laughs> contaminated. It's not a felony. <laughs> I think oh, legally you have to uh, tell someone you have AIDS. Yeah. <laughs> yeah something, <laughs> like have that. AIDS. something like that. Yeah, but you got herpes. It's the same thing. No, but I cut it off. Oh, like, okay. You cut yeah. the herpes off? Nice. <laughs> yeah, I cut you the herpes off. probably have a doctor do that, but that's yeah. okay. Do you keep it in a jar? Uh, yeah, I do, actually. Nice. It's like in water, and yeah. it's like floating around. My yeah. little herp. I, na- I name him <laughs> Herbert. <laughs> oh, it's like my toenails. No, I'm joking. Herbert. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well... I got a I got a little quick list here of uh, some easy ways you can avoid sharing your food. Um, I'm gonna get right into it. So let's see. You can brandish a knife, like like Britney Spears. Is this prison? Like what are we doing? You can brandish a knife. <laughs> no, 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 no. Think about it. You're right. sitting down at a table. You have silverware in front of you. One of those pieces of silverware might, in fact, be a steak knife. Okay. So we're threatening people. Oh, I'm yeah, fine. With yeah, it. No, I'm cool with it. Threats. No, you just pull it up like Brittany and start dancing with it. Yes. Wave it around. Exactly. Spin in a circle. You She's know. perfectly sane. Definitely doesn't need <laughs> help. Tell them afterwards it's fake. <laughs> Stop. Yes. We um, we spoke about this next one. You could announce at the table that you have mouth gonorrhea. Yes. <laughs> You could do that. That's it works. Gross. You it could works. sprinkle something I'm- on top and say, mmm, foot powder. Foot powder. What? <laughs> so good. Let, I, me, let could, me just add some extra flavor, uh, a bit of callus. A little I'm gonna put bouillon a little. cube. You could ask the person if they're allergic to anything, and if they are, say that's what's in the thing. They or you could say, say compliments to the chef. Or Magic you, Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> or you could pull a blanket over yourself like when you watch porn on a plane. You, you watch. <laughs> no one speak anything. Yeah. <laughs> I want him to be in silence. No, no, <laughs> do you do that? This is in his own Mile High Club. <laughs> he just said that so proudly too. Like, come on, yeah, we all do it. If right? you yeah, don't right. play, would it be a Mile High Club? Uh, half mile. Half of, uh, mile. Half mile. <laughs> <laughs> Point fifty of a mile. <laughs> What else we got? That works. Okay. Um, I mean, you can go to like the men's locker room. It's like try to get away from like you can you can try to get away from the people. Like I guess. Yeah. Speaking men. of a men's locker eating room, eating in a, ba- a bathroom. I love eating in the bathroom. I said that before on a show. Out with the old, in with the new. Y'all ever eaten a cookie while on the toilet? <laughs> it's pleasant. I'm telling you. No one's bothering you. I don't mind my own smell. And like I said, you know, what goes in comes out. Bada bing, bada boom. Kill two birds with one stone. Look at that. Yeah. Streamlining the process. I'm we telling you, look. next time you're eating a cookie, go to number two. <laughs> Another easy way you can avoid sharing your food is um, by not eating around Astros fans. Astros fans? Yeah. Oh, because the garbage cans? Nah, because how they steal signs. Imagine what they do to your fries. Oh, mm. yeah. You know what I mean? 100%. Don't eat around an Astros fan, dude. No. Don't do it. Don't do it. Let's see. Let's get one more. Are you going to put a buzzer in my food? A buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. You got any other ones or is that it? Come you on. Go in, you can go to nurses. Say office. this is what happened to the last person who touched one of my nachos and reveal a severed finger. Because I just have a severed finger on hand, pun intended. You don't? 
Uh, I guess I'm weird. I Damn. guess I'm the weird one. We I, uh, knew you were the weird one me, when you walked in the room, Devin. Show me the finger. Dang. It's there you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's the finger. <laughs> There's the finger. Yeah. Your beautiful finger. So that, that that's the list I got for you guys. I think we came up with some pretty creative stuff, huh? I like our I, was, I like our answers. I liked the uh, I liked the blanket, man. <laughs> I like. Of the course, blanket. we know what you. Yeah. Of course, you like the blanket. I like the blanket. Can you really like? You know what you eating in that blanket? Mm. Oh man, sausage. How about you get sausage. under here and find out? Oh Papa. no! Oh yeah, I'm lifting it up <laughs> right here. You see that? I'm scared, Mom. Pick Help me up. us, that, please. That's a coveted national treasure right there, my friend. This morning show is part of your nutritious breakfast. As long as you're listening while eating a nutritious breakfast. Mmm, so good and tasty. The Nassau Morning Madhouse is on 90.3 WHPC. Uh, oh.